Hey guys, I just want to let you know about two very important and timely events. Debbie's publisher, Chosen Books, has agreed to put the ebook version of her book, The Gift of Prophetic Encouragement, on sale for 99 cents the entire month of September. You can find it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and any other online retailers where books are sold. This is also perfect timing for the free online video-based Bible study with Debbie beginning October 10th, 2019. Or for more details or to sign up, look in the show description or visit DebbieKitterman.com. Hi, I'm Debbie Kitterman, and welcome to Dare to Hear the Podcast, where we equip you and challenge you to dare to hear the voice of God. Again this week, I have brought Margie Mormon back to join me for part two of Angels. And this week, I've asked her if she would talk with us about how we can become active participants in the supernatural realm of angelic activity, and also if she would give us some activation things that we can do. And so if you missed last week's episode, I want to encourage you to go back and watch it on YouTube or download it and listen to it on your podcast channels. But for those of you that don't know Margie and haven't been introduced to her, you're going to want to know her. You're going to want to follow her and you're going to want to be a part of her groups. I'm so excited because I learned some new avenues that I can be and learn from Margie because she has so much. Margie is a forerunner in in the angelic activity and the realm of that where she has angelic visitations. They come and impart revelation and wisdom and they share things with her. And I am so excited because she is, you are normal, Margie, and I can relate to you so much. And plus you, you were a Washingtonian that has moved to Houston, Texas. So, you know, we have kind of that Washington thing in mind. Um, I'm not sure. Texas is a little hot for me. I think I would melt. But you um, have a ministry called Still Waters Ministries, all plural, and they can find you at your website, stillwatersministry.com. And then there's that. Not net, sorry, dot net people don't listen to me, listen to Margie. Um, and so I just want to jump right in here because I want I want our listeners to really get activated in this realm of angelic activity and engaging the supernatural. And one of the things that we talked about is that there's no formula. There's no formula. Like if you do this and you do this, then you're going to have this. But I think you have some practical things that you do to do engagements or to be aware. So can you talk to us a little bit about that? Okay, sure. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, let's see what to do. Like, like Debbie said, no formula. There's no step one, step two, et cetera. In my life, it may work for other people, you know, but, but I'm too, um, I think I'm too spontaneous <laughs> in my life. So, so, uh, and, and Papa God knows that. So, um, what I would say is, first of all, be expectant. Mm, that's good. Be expectant. I think that is the biggest thing and be willing, be willing, because when he knows, when our God, our Papa God, knows we are willing, he, he will bring uh, revelation to us. He will bring encounters to us. Be willing, be expectant, and, and have, your, have your senses tuned in. Have your eyes open. Um, look, I would say look, um, say, at a, a wall, um, if you want to start out, or a corner, but don't look at the actual um, wall itself. Look, pull your vision up maybe a foot or so. Check out, check out the, um, the, the air in there, in that area. And just look. And if you see something, um, any kind of an activity, if you see a, a light, or you see a flash, you see a, um, anything, you see a dot, whatever, ask. Holy Spirit, say, what am I seeing? Who am I seeing? Explain to me what, what I am seeing, what I am, what I'm encountering here. And then tell me, tell me more about, um, you know, what I'm seeing. 
and and I believe if you can if you can talk to Jesus and you can hear Holy Spirit talking to you, you can hear Him telling you, "Okay, this this is an an angel. This is an angelic activity," and um, and if you concentrate on it, um, you'll be able to see more. Now that takes practice. I keep saying it takes practice, practice, practice. You know, Scripture says practice to make your calling sure. Practice, practice. So you may not get everything all at once. You may not get everything for quite a while. It took me years to develop into seeing them as uh, in bodily form. But but there's a start. You know, like don't despise the small beginnings. So so ask um, ask Holy Spirit to help you. Mm, that's good. And yeah, and and well, yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> yeah, um, but but check check the atmosphere as opposed to um, you know the actual building itself or the actual surrounding that you're in. Um, just check the atmosphere and see what's going on because there's <clears throat> excuse me, there's always activity, always activity going on. In the angelic realm, I'm sorry, I have to take a drink. No, you're good. I think I think that's really important too. And I think one of the things when I tell people about activating dreams in their own life, and I think, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think with the angelic realm is just saying, God, I'm willing. Like, right. like I want to engage with this, so we can ask, like we can, like say we're expect and then be expectant. I love what you said about that. Be expectant, be looking, because I think we see things sometimes and we discount them. Exactly, exactly, because we're not sure what it is, or we think it's our imagination. Mm -hmm. And this is exciting, because the, the word imagination comes from the root word imagine, uh, image, I'm sorry, not imagine, but image. We are made in the image of God. Our imagination comes from Him. Mm -hmm. So if you think you're imagining things, guess who's giving that to you? You know, you can you can be steered into um, something that is reality and and not just thought pattern um, as far as the as the angelic realm goes. But your imagination, you can say, "Yeah, I am imagining it." Now I want to see it in reality. In reality, yeah, yeah, that's good. You can do that, and and he is more than willing more than willing because that's where we live we are spirit beings we live in the spirit realm we we communicate with jesus with holy spirit with papa god we communicate with them jesus communicates with them we have jesus within us we can communicate with them so um now i forgot where we were going <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. But that but that that sparked another question in my mind because sometimes people will um say, Oh, a feather showed up, there's angels here. And if they listen to our last um podcast, I asked you this question, like when you see angels, do they have wings? And you said, Not for you. It doesn't mean that it doesn't happen for every other people, but um when like the feathers show up, like what's that about? And has that ever happened or has other things happened? Cause I know on your blog that you have, like you talk about the sapphires and we talked about, like we talk about gold dust. So can you kind of like, is that, that's part of the supernatural realm, but like what? Talk to me about that. <laughs> okay. I believe that Papa God is so excited about us wanting to be in his presence wanting to sit on his lap, wanting to engage with him, that he will show us that he is with us in whatever fashion, whatever creative fashion he chooses. And many times it's feathers. We get excited about it. But you know what? A lot of times um, when groups have, have feathers falling, they say that's that's God. That's God. And then they, they put a box around it and say, okay, next time we get together, if we don't see feathers, you know, he, maybe he's not with us. Well, that's, in my mind, that's not right because then, then he will go on to something else. So we don't 
cause that to be a formula. He'll go on to something else and he'll give, you know, the gold dust has been happening. He'll give the, have the gems fall. That's been happening. He'll do whatever he chooses. You look back in, in uh, history of the revivals and, you know, different things were, were happening then because he is the creator. He's a creative God and he would choose, choose whatever fashion. I believe we're going to see all kinds of new things. You know, our eyes are going to be open and we're going to be experiencing him in a, in a fashion that we have never experienced him before because, first of all, he loves to give us surprises Secondly, he's not in a box. <laughs> and Hallelujah. We, yeah, and we, we should not be in a box. We no. need to step out of that box, have the sides come down and say, whatever you want, Papa God, whatever you want, whatever you're doing, I'm here. And I, I am part of you and you're part of me and you are me. <laughs> I'm all of you. And, uh, and let's, let's go from there. So, um, so yes, I've, I've had the angelic. I had a wonderful encounter, which is on my blog page, but little, little push there. But um, <laughs> no, that's good. You go right ahead. That's okay. why you're on here, so that we can connect my listeners to you. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I I did. I try to write as many of the encounters as I can because he has told me to. He said the reason I want you to do this is because I give you messages for the body of Christ. I give them to you, you experience them, you encounter them, but then you pass them on through your writings or your sharings. And so that's my purpose is to say, Jesus, you know, he, he is the savior. He is the one who causes us to be the righteousness of Christ, the righteousness of God in Christ. I'm sorry. And yes, and it's all about Jesus and the angels and the angelic activity always points to Jesus. You know, just like Holy Spirit, they're so excited about Jesus. And they bring messages from the throne room, mm-hmm. they, deliver, they deliver messages, they, um, they, they will deliver, uh, oh boy, what am I thinking? They will deliver um, um, objects a lot of times spiritual objects mm, that's good yeah yeah and i don't know why i say yeah because <laughs> we're agreeing because we're agreeing yes, yes. <laughs> i love you margie oh, i love you too <laughs> uh anyway that you know the only the only distance between heaven which is here i mean we're walking in it you know but the only difference, uh, the only distance between the heavenly realm, the supernatural realm, and and um, and us is our minds. Mm. If we can get our minds to agree that we're spiritual beings, I, I keep saying this over and over, but we're spiritual beings. We walk on a spiritual plane. We're, our activities are spiritual. Our communication is spiritual. Everything about us is spiritual. And our minds will, will work on us. And, of course, we know who works on the mind because our, the biggest playground for the enemy is our mind. Absolutely. You know, causing us to, to disagree and not understand and so on. But, but, boy, if you get any of those, you know, well, this isn't for me, these, these, this angel and encounter activity is not for me yes it is it's for you if you're a believer in jesus christ it is for you and you have the ability you have the ability to see and speak and encounter the angels yeah yeah i I love that i love that because one of the things i talk about when i'm teaching on the spirit realm and like angels miracles signs and wonders is people always go well why is this happen and why is this happen and i said you know what it's in the word of god so we're going to go to the word of god we're going to test everything against the word and i i describe it like this and i can't remember it was it was um 
one of the generals in the army of, you know, in the body of Christ, in the army of God, right? That, that said this, I was listening to him a long time ago and I can't remember who it was, but he compared, like he said, if we have a wheel and Jesus is the hub of the wheel and then our life is the outer wheel, all of the spokes that come mm-hmm. off of that are the different ways that God will show up in our life supernaturally, like miracles, signs, wonders, angelic activity, hearing from God, um, just, you know, the burning bush, those types of things. And if we begin to pick and choose the way that God's going to show up in our life, we begin to we begin to weaken the wheel itself. And then we're not living to the fullest of our life. And I think that's, that's, I think what you're reminding us here. Um, as we end this episode of the podcast, what I want to do is, is there a, um, is there an activation exercise that you can give us? Is there some way for some of us that have never seen angels? I mean, you talked about kind of looking in the corners of the room and paying attention to those things, but is there something that we can do besides praying, being expectant that you could like give us this, you know, I'm really big on giving homework. <laughs> um, like do this and it's going to like help you engage and be expectant. Is there something that you could share with us that we could put into practice. Um, okay. Sure. Okay. okay. I, I would say um, to begin with, to just find a quiet spot and quiet, quiet your, your mind. Because, you know, we're bombarded by everything. We're, you know, our heads and our ears and our everything. As a stimulus is... I lost you. If you can quiet yourself and just worship Jesus, and I'm not saying you have to put on music and you have to do this or that because I'm not a formula person, but if you can worship Jesus, you know, they come, the angels come to where Jesus is being glorified. And if you are worshiping Jesus, praising him, those angels will come. And then if you can, if you can sit with your mind quieted and focus on Jesus, don't focus on the angels, but focus on Jesus, and then start to see activity happening around where you are. And when you see it, like I said, you know, ask Holy Spirit, what what is happening? What's going on? But know that you know that that you have the ability. Know that He wants to give this to you, and just ask Him. You know, just be open and say, "Papa God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, I am so willing. Do do give me that promise that you promised me that I can walk in the spiritual realm to the fullest. That's good. Do that. Do that. Because I'm so willing and I'm so ready right now. And tell him that and just talk to him and, and tell him how important it is to you to begin to understand all that he has for each one of us. He has so much. And this is just a little portion. You know, this, is, this isn't this is even the icing on the cake. This is like a dab of icing. Yeah, it's just like, it's just a little bit to make you want more, right? Exactly, exactly. And, and, and to just to tell him, yes, I understand I'm a spirit being. I think that's very, very crucial to know that, that we are spirit beings and we live in a spiritual realm. Um, and and then read the word. Read the word. There's all kinds of scriptures about the angelic activity and who the angels are. And just try to ingest those words and 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 meditate on them. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, and just realize realize that this is part of the big picture. And 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 that he is. Uh, he's such a big God, and he's such a good daddy. He's such a good daddy that he that he wants us to just be embraced by him. Just you know, all he has for us, he wants us to be embraced. So I don't know if 
uh, I hope that helps. But I think it does. I think it does um, because I think you're giving us the things that we need to have in the foundation. But as we move forward, is that we have to put our focus on Jesus and what He is releasing to us because these are things that Jesus accessed. He accessed these things while he was here on earth and we're supposed to live our life modeled after him. And he showed us how we can engage and, um, and participate, be active participants mm -hmm. in the supernatural realm. And that angelic activity is so huge. And I think today people um, in the church go, well, that's not for today, except for Hebrews 13, eight says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so we're missing out on this piece and it's so exciting. I love this other thing that you said too, because there's this quote that I have by a Jesuit priest in one of my teaching materials that says that um, I am not a physical being, I am a spiritual being. And he talks about that we're, we're having a temporary physical experience, but that we're spirit beings and we need to understand that. Jesus said um, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what you were talking about early on was that, that it's our imagination and our minds that we're the things that hold us back. But if we submit that to Christ and we say, God, we are open, speak to us and then ask questions. That was the other thing you said was ask questions. It's okay to ask God, is this you? What are you saying? What are you here for? Can you release that Margie? I am so excited for the testimonies from our listeners because you were with us. And um, I, I know we don't have time today, but I think later on, um, I like to talk about like the behind the veil. Like, oh, that. that's, that's your Facebook page. And so um, let's remind listeners how they can connect with you. I'll let you do it because I messed it up. We'll also put it in the show notes too. So, oh. um, and so there, were, there was your website. Right. Um, still waters, plural ministries, plural dot net. net. Yes. Yeah. And then there's two things on Facebook. One, you have a Facebook page and that is facebook.com forward slash see beyond the veil. And then there's a group, mm -hmm. there's a Facebook group and it's called angelic stop stations. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is just so brilliant. And I know that like, I, I can just see an angel coming to you saying, we have a stop station right now, Margie, let's engage. I just love that. So um, I just want to speak over our listeners, just kind of give them a declaration. And then I just want to also thank you just for joining me for not one, but two episodes that I sprung on you this morning as you joined us in the podcast. But um, I just want our listeners to do this declaration of that. Um, we are spirit beings and we can participate with the angelic realm and so that they would step out into that and so make this declaration of your life that i am a spirit being and i am connected to god and i am seated with christ in heavenly places and the angelic realm is for me to participate to release the kingdom of God here on earth. So I release that over you listeners. I want to just thank you for joining me and Margie today on Dare to Hear the Podcast, where we encourage you to dare to hear the voice of God in your everyday. Thank you for listening. If you are watching on YouTube, if you like this episode, would you please share it with your friends? Would you subscribe to our channel? And if you're listening uh, via a podcast, would you leave us a review and share this and make sure your friends know all about it and let's just get the word out about how we are spirit beings and we get to participate with god so with that we look forward to having you join us next week on next week's episode of dare to hear the podcast Bye, everybody bye bye I'm not